Hey, what's up guys? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs, and for this review, we are looking at the new Deluxe Marvel Legends Archangel. I don't think it's actually called that, but I'm calling it that because it came with extra parts. And it's basically the same Archangel that we got before with a couple of repainted heads and some different, some different paint schemes that may or may not be good depending on what you like. Uh, I, you might notice that I don't have the packaging, and that's because my buddy got his before I did, and he didn't have the packaging, but he w let me borrow his figure to review it. So, the packaging just displays Archangel in the front, like every other Marvel Legends. But yeah, it's basically the same figure we saw before, with new paint and a couple extra accessories, so... Overall good, but there are definitely some things to talk about, so let's go ahead and get it off the stand and take a closer look. And this guy stands just about 16 centimeters to the top of his head, which makes him just shy of six and a half inches. The wings overall are about 10 inches wide and from the feet to the top they're about seven and a half inches give or take and of course they are poseable so you can adjust that a little bit. And like I mentioned this is basically the same figure that we got before which is this one which is not the SDCC one which was the X-Force colors but they're all the same figure other than paint. So the thing about the paint with this guy is I think the blue is the best most accurate to this version of Archangel. This one has a very much darker blue. And I'm not sure he ever actually looked quite like this. Uh, however, I'm not really sure he ever quite looked like this either. Because as much as I can remember, and I did a little bit of searching and I couldn't find anything to uh, refute what I'm about to say, I don't think he's ever had red lines. Maybe in one of the old figures, but never in the comics. Not that I could find, and not that I remember either. So I'm not sure why we have red lines on this one. It's kind of strange. But the blue is good, and then the blue for the face is really good. But here's the kicker on this guy. The wings are the shiny ones, just like the uh, San Diego Comic-Con version. Very shiny, in fact. Now, of course, I do have the studio lighting here, so it's a lot brighter than your average collector room, collection room. But they are still freaking shiny. Hasbro really does a good job when they try, and they did on these. Which is unfortunate, because otherwise we get these. Which don't look, I mean they look pretty good with the studio lights, but otherwise they don't look so great. So by the end of the review I'm probably going to end up saying buy this one, put the wings on this one, and ignore the dark blue. But that's going to really just be up to you. Now before we get into anything else, let's talk accessories. We do have of course the wings, not really going to count those. But we have a total of four different heads. We have the one Archangel head, which is still pretty good, still kind of pinched in at the temple. Uh, but it's still a nice enough sculpt. Then we have the one with the skull face paint on it, which is basically just blizzard. It is a blizzard head with the face paint and the face paint doesn't line up very well and the red is not done very well so that's a bummer because it's a really cool looking head otherwise and then we have the two different adam warlock heads which are not altogether terrible for this but the fact that they're adam warlock heads kind of looks just like adam warlock rather than angel but the hair is done painted and sculpted very well and then the faces are sculpted and painted well also is it a really big deal <sighs> i mean Technically not, especially if you're not going to display him with Adam Warlock. It's not that big of a deal. But it is kind of a bummer that they just took Adam Warlock and turned it into Archangel. So that's that's a bit of a bummer. And then the last accessory we have is the claw hand for Apocalypse, which is a nice addition for Apocalypse. I'm not 100% sold on the particular sculpt they went with, making the forearm really big and then the wrist part relatively skinny. It just feels kind of ill-conceived, but it's not bad and it's definitely a nice addition. So... Overall, a nice nice accessory batch to go with this repaint of a figure. So, again, huge, huge mo profit margins for this guy, because the only new thing here at all is the Apocalypse Hand. Everything else is just a repaint, so profits for Hasbro, not necessarily the best situation for us. Speaking of not the best situation, reg regardless of the color... The paint job on this guy leaves a lot to be desired, especially on this particular version, because apparently uh, whoever sent this to my buddy knew that I was going to end up reviewing it because it's got a defect. It's missing paint on the arm, and that is par for the course as far as my luck goes, so unfortunately my luck seems to have rubbed off onto my buddy. The paint job for the chest is actually pretty good, though the line work could be a little cleaner. It's all right. The side pieces here are a little bit darker. We do have different shades of red throughout. It's a very different right here than it is to right here. Kind of chalky paint. Very translucent around here on the thighs. And same thing for the arms. The heads, give or take, are about the same as this part right here. So it's a little bit better than the thighs, but not that much. The toes are painted pretty well. Ultimately, it's, uh, it's a little bit better than this in terms of the consistency. 
Because this one, as you can see, the chest is great, but then the toes almost have no paint on them at all, and the wrists and biceps and shoulders don't look so good. But this one does have the shiny purple, which looks kind of cool. Anyway, paints are on par for Hasbro, not very good. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and take the wings off, but first I'll show you how they function. They rotate around right there on the peg, which I'll show you as I take it off. Then there's a hinge for the entire piece, and then there's a hinge for the outer piece, and there's a hinge for this inner piece. So you can pose them around a little bit, not a ton. Uh, a lot of people like to say you can pop these off and swap them so that you can put them on like this. And you could, and you'd probably want to switch sides, but they don't line up at all, and you really shouldn't bother doing that because it looks like a something a little kid would do. It looks kind of goofy. They just don't line up. But you could if you wanted to. So the wings are definitely aesthetically pleasing. Not necessarily the best in terms of posability, but it's good enough. And they just peg in so they rotate as you would expect. And this piece stays on very nicely. It pegs in very, very sturdily. Which I'm going to leave on because I can't pull it off right now. So that's a good thing. Otherwise, it's Bucky Cap, so we can show you the articulation really quickly, though you probably don't need to see it. Head works wonderfully on this. It's fantastic. All the way up, all the way down, full rotation, little bit of wiggle on the ball peg, not a whole bunch. Very, very nicely done. It sits on the body properly. Everybody's complaining about the Bucky Cap mold lately because they've reused it a ton, which is absolutely fair and true. However, it's still the best mold they have. So until we get a replacement, maybe we shouldn't be bagging on this one too much. Shoulders, better than horizontal, so that's really nice. Full rotation, of course, a little bit of ratcheting. Bicep swivel's okay. Double jointed elbow works just fine, better than 90. Wrist swivel and hinge. Ab crunch works all right. Doesn't go very far back. Waist twist is okay. Thighs, not or hips, not too bad. And going forward, they work just fine. And going backward, they go just a little bit. Thigh swivel is okay. Double jointed knee is okay. Shin swivel is ugly and doesn't quite line up, but it's there if you like it. Ankle joint does bring the foot pretty far forward, pretty far back. And then we have the ankle rocker. And I want to point out, this is a slight difference to the previous release, which is a big difference, which I love. We have the soft sole shoes here with the pointier toes. And on this guy, we have the bucky cap boots. Definitely prefer the new one in terms of the foot mold. Definitely. Much, much better. So, let's do what I said. Let's combine the two and see if we can make the best we can come up with. Now, some people are probably not going to like this because it's dark blue uh, and it has the bad feet. However, it does have the shiny purple, so of course the back part stayed on. So I'm going to combine the two shiny parts and see how that looks, just because you guys like to see this kind of thing. So I'm going to do it for you. For me, I don't ever swap parts around like this, typically speaking, because I like to keep things factory fresh. But let's see how it looks with the chrome and the chrome, which I'm sure people have already done with the X-Force wings, but now this is uh, more readily available. And that looks pretty good. It may not be perfect, but that's going to be an eye-catcher on the shelf. The shiny wings with the shiny paint, very, very appealing. And if you really wanted to, since this does have, I think, the paint job based on one of the older figures, if you do this... With the dull wings, it doesn't look terrible. It kind of looks all right. So you could swap them around if you happen to have both. If not, then you're stuck with this guy with the shiny wings, and I think that's okay. Is it the best release ever? Definitely not. But is it good enough? I think so. I like them. So there you go, guys. Thanks for watching. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. And if you haven't subscribed, you may want to do so because I do have new videos up just about every single day. We talk about action figures, movies, TV shows, video games, all kinds of fun stuff. So make sure you come back for that. And in the meantime, keep collecting.